Hey guys, I'm here with Charmeli today, and Charmeli is about a two and a half month old Desi puppy. She's learning a lot, but she still has some of those behaviors that we want to start working on now before they become a problem. One of those is jumping up. So jumping up is a perfectly normal behavior for a dog to want to do. They greet us just like we greet each other, face to face. Because they're so low to the ground, they feel like they have to jump up to get to our faces. And that's why they're always constantly trying to get closer to our face. So although jumping up is a perfectly normal behavior, it is also kind of annoying, especially as they start to get bigger. A two and a half month old puppy, you know, she's not that heavy. She's not gonna knock me down. Her claws aren't that long. But as she starts to get older, this is gonna get more and more painful and annoying. And it's kind of embarrassing also when you have guests come over and your dog's jumping all over them. We wanna teach our dog to stand nicely with all four feet on the ground before they can get pets or treats. So let's get to it. A basic thing that you need to know before you start this training is you need to have your puppy know how to sit because we want to get her into a sit to begin with. So Charmeli, come here. Sit. Sit. Yes. So I already know she knows sit, so she'll stay there. The problem is that when I start to reach down to give her another treat or when I reach down to pet her, she tends to pop up and jump on me. So see how she's already four, four feet or not on the ground anymore. So that's not what we want. We want her to do four feet on the ground, whether in a sit or standing. Yes, good sit. So she'll stay in a sit long enough for me to give her a treat, but then when I go down to pet her again, she pops up. What we need to do is make sure that she doesn't have an incentive to jump. So if you're petting her, if you're giving her a treat and her feet come off the floor, you immediately back up. You're removing the stimulus that she wants. She wants to get to you. She wants to get towards your face. She wants to get towards the treat. Um, and so we need her to stay all four feet on the ground before we can touch her or feed her. So I'm gonna try again. Yes, good girl. And then she gets the pet. Let's try one more time. Nope. Ah. Yes, good girl. So again, I'm rewarding her for staying all four feet off the ground. Come here. We're gonna try it again. Ah, 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 ah. Off. Sit. Yes, good girl. And it shouldn't matter. You can kind of also see right before Right before she's about to pop up, you can see it in her eyes. So you can see her start to sort of crouch a little bit. You can see her start to get a little like, ah. And that's when you want to remove the stimulus. So you don't want to wait until she's already on you before you remove the stimulus. You want to catch her before. And that's why it's really important to make eye contact and have really good communication with your dog so that you can anticipate what she's going to do before she actually does the behavior you don't want. So we're going to try that again. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Yes, good girl, good girl, Charmeli, nice job. And when your dog does the right thing, even if it's for just a half second and then they're about to jump up again, make sure it's a huge reward. You'd be really excited about it. Be like, yeah, great job. And then if you have a really high value treat, that's the time to really give them a ton of those high value treats so that they really start to associate. Okay, if I control that impulse and I decide not to do that, I get a good thing for it. Yes, good girl, nice job. So I'm gonna take our round again. We're gonna do one more time. I'm gonna walk her and then we're gonna try again and start over. So sometimes if your dog, whoops. <laughs> sometimes if your dog uh, is doing really well and they're staying in a sit, but then you, know, you do one turn and she's right back to the same stuff. So we're gonna try that again and see if she'll remember it this time. Can you sit? Yes, good girl. Ah, ah. No. Sit. Ah, sit. Yes, good girl. Nice, and I give her the reward for sitting and taking the treat. Good sit. Now we're gonna do a pet. Yes, good job, good sit. Nicely done, Charmini. Yes, good girl. Nice. So if you do little five minute, 10 minute sessions here and there, like three, four, five times a day, eventually she'll learn that if she wants something, she just needs to stay all four feet on the ground or in a sit, and that's when she gets what she wants. Well done, Charmili, good job. After they're, you know, sitting and taking treats nicely, after they're sitting and taking treats nicely, you can graduate on to going slower and slower down to pet them um, and waiting just in front of them with a treat and 
asking them to just stay there and control that impulse to go after the treat. So we can go ultra slow. Ah, ah. Sit. Yes. Yes, good girl. You want her to be able to control that impulse for a long amount of time and go longer and longer each time. So I'm gonna try this kneeling even. Uh -uh. Nope, see? And I kneeled down and immediately she forgot what I was doing. So, and what she was supposed to be doing. This is totally normal. A dog isn't gonna just generalize the concept to every single situation. Say you're doing this inside, they're not necessarily gonna remember to do this outside. That's why we need to make sure we're doing activities like this in lots of different positions in lots of different places so that they learn to generalize the behavior over any place, any time, um, and with us doing anything. So she's sat, which is really good. She th she's figured out what I want. Good girl, very nice. And I should even, ah, ah. She's trying to break her sit. Ah. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. I should even be able to hold it out without her coming towards me to come get it. Yes, good girl, that was really good. This is gonna lead to even stronger impulse control in any training that you're doing if you set the foundation and do the basics now. So that's how you teach your dog not to jump on you, but what about other people when they come into your house or when you're on a walk? So we're gonna bring Saloni in and we're gonna use her to help us teach Sharmili how to not jump on people that she doesn't know. All right, so now I have Saloni here with me, and she's going to be my other person who Charmili is probably gonna try and jump on. Um, so when you're out on a walk and you meet other people and say you're having a conversation with someone, you don't want your dog like Ugh, fighting to get up on them and jump on them as much as possible. So when you're taking your dog out on a walk, your dog needs to be the priority, not the other person. So it's perfectly fine to ask someone to stop and let you work with your dog before you have a full-on conversation with them. Um, you know, don't be embarrassed by that. That's a perfectly legitimate thing to ask people. If she tries to jump on Saloni. Okay, so see how she's trying to, ah, ah, stop. You can step between, yes, wait. And then ask your friend to pet once she's settled. As soon as, if you wanna go ahead and go in and pet her, as soon as she tries to pop up again. Oh, good, nice, yes, good girl. Nah, uh, uh. Come here. Sit. Wait. So as soon as she tries to pop up and jump on that other person, you have to intervene. Don't ask the person to train for you. What you want to do is you want to set that communication with your dog so that they look to you for what's appropriate and what's correct, not other random people that they don't even know. We're going to try again. Come on. I'm going to back it up a little bit. All right. Come here. Come on, Hey. Hey. Okay. Go ahead and go into the petter and we'll see if she'll stay down. Yes, good girl, very nice. Come here, Charmini, come here. Why don't you walk to us and see if she'll stay, stay sat. Yes, good girl. Very good girl, Charmini. She's like, I'll just play with your shoes instead. Good job, very nice. Ah, 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 ah. So see right there, she just did it again. That's a little back step. That's not a huge deal. Um, that's really normal for them not to, you know, get it every single time in the beginning. Yes, wait. If you notice that she's in play mode and she's not gonna be listening to you, she's not gonna be respecting that other person and she's gonna be chewing on them, um, then it, maybe it's time to say, okay, maybe let's not give her any attention right now. We'll just get her into a sit, get her calm. You can reward her for staying sat and calm. And then you can go about your conversation um, with your friend. I think this was a really good start for Charmili. I think she's doing really, really well right now. Um, and this is a change even from 15 minutes ago. Um, she was behaving totally differently. So I'm really pleased with our progress today. Thanks, Saloni. <laughs> if you think Charmili is super cute, check out the description of this video for a link or instructions on how to adopt her. Also, if you have friends or family members who have dogs that jump, make sure to share this video with them. Jumping and other behaviors like it are one of the top reasons that dogs are released to shelters. So it's important for us to share this information with as many people as possible.